Hey guys, welcome to Lika Cooks. Today I'm going to make soya bean nugget curry. For that we have uh, 250 grams of soya bean here. And we are going to use 3 onions, a piece of ginger, 3 garlics, tomato, 3 medium sized tomato. And for the curry we are having um, a pinch of uh, asafoetida. And for the spices we have uh, cinnamon, we have a few pieces of clove, few pieces of uh, cardamom, one teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, one teaspoon of uh, garam masala, one, te one teaspoon of uh, jeera powder, and one and a half teaspoon of chili powder, and two teaspoon of dania powder. Okay, now I have already peeled the onions so I'm going to roughly chop the onions because I'm going to grind the onions in the grinder so uh, I roughly roughly chop the all the ingredients cutting the tomato I'm going to grind the tomato too okay now I've on the gas I'm going to fry the soya bean chunks I'm using around two tablespoons of mustard oil to fry the soya bean in the mustard oil so let the pan uh, warm up for a little then I add the soya bean chunks to it and I fry it for around stir fry it for around three minutes until slightly golden in color. Okay, now the soya bean chunks are nicely done. I'm going to off the gas and I'm going to remove it from the flame. Okay, the gas is on now, waiting for the pan to heat up a little. Now I'm adding, I'm also using mustard oil for the gravy. I'm adding around 3 tablespoons of, roughly 3 tablespoons of mustard oil. I'm going to add the cinnamon, the cardamom and the clove to the hot oil. Now the dry chili. And the SF Fosida. Time to add the grinded onions, garlic and ginger. I'm going to stir fry this until it's nicely done. And it leaves the sides of the pot. 
now that the onion is slightly done so I'm going to add salt as per taste and I'm going to add the spices so um, you can always increase the spices if you prefer it to be spicier so I'm adding the turmeric powder the garam masala the jeera powder and the dhania powder and last I add the chili powder mix it nicely and now I'm going to add the tomato puree to it again I'm going to stir fry it until nicely done for say around 5 to 7 minutes Okay, uh, after 5 minutes, this is done, nicely sorted. Now I'm going to add the soya chunks to the gravy and I stir it, sort it for 2 minutes. And I'm going to add around 3 cups of water. And, uh, let it cook for around 25 minutes the soya chunks will be nicely done you can also pressure cook it but i'm cooking it normally i'll let it boil for around 25 minutes okay let's see if it's done mm, it's boiling nice but it looks a little hard i think we should boil it for another 10 minutes and if it's a little dry Maybe we can add a, a little bit more water inside. Okay, I'm covering it now to cook for another 10 minutes. Okay, now it looks like it's nicely cooked, well and done. I'm offing the gas now. You can use some coriander to garnish the soya bean curry. All nicely and lovely done. And now I'm going to dish it out in a bowl. Oh, looks it looks so lovely and nice nice and juicy you can serve this with either rice hot warm rice or chapati thank you